guys so today I want to talk to you about a common problem discus get and um, often you hear oh my discus are so hard to feed they won't accept food like they're picky eaters and stuff like that when in reality it's not really your water the problem unless it's extremely dirty it's not really the food you're feeding the problem but it's in fact something called Xemitia or something like that. <laughs> Basically, that's um, that's the um, scientific word, but it's a disease called commonly hole in the head. And uh, it's not always visible as it can present itself as very tiny holes um, near the mouth and eyes. It can also present itself as little white dots appearing around the same region of the head and the mouth. Uh, but sometimes you won't even see it. The only thing you'll see would be that your discus is losing color, secluding themselves, not eating enough, you know, things like that. And then all of a sudden you jump to conclusions. You're like, okay, my water is terrible. I'm just talking from experience. Like, that was me. I'll, I'll be like, my water is terrible. I need to get out of water. You know, you treat them for external parasites, you know, because you see their color changing and stuff. And it's really none of the above. It, you water, they couldn't care less if it's slightly harder, you know. Like, if they're adapted to that water and they're bred in the same country that you purchase them, it shouldn't be that much of a problem, unless they're wild discus or something. But even then, you know, after like a week or two, they should start eating and be good. Not you buy them, they look good, and then they decline. So, um, what's going on with these discus? Well, also you would see that they have probably no feces or white feces. That would be a sign of internal parasite. Because even though a hole in the head seems to be an external problem, in fact, it's an internal problem. Um, it's not known exactly whether it's absolutely a parasite or lack of minerals or something like that but you have to treat them immediately and the most common treatment for this disease is called metronidazole also commonly referred to as metro and there's a uh, the company he carries CCAM that does it or you can get it at the pharmacy if you do have a prescription for metronidazole so you have to like treat them with that uh, as soon as you can uh, another thing, uh, since carbon is perhaps, you know, the cause of the lack of uh, minerals and vitamins in your water, you have to remove that because it's also going to remove the medication out of the water. So the first things first, you have to remove your carbon and then you have to add the medication. Um, according to my research, and you correct me if I'm mistaken, it is 250 milligram per 10 gallons of water. So here, let's say I have a 65 gallons. Well, let's say the sand took maybe five gallons. I would put three tablets of 250 grams or by the powder, however it comes up to, you know. So, and you treat them like that for three days consecutively. You uh, put it one day, you do 30% water change prior to adding the medication. Then you let it go for 24 hours. Then you do another 30% water change and so on for three days. And after that, you can do um, like 30 to 50% water change to remove the medication. I also suggest you remove your uh, UV sterilization because it, um, it will disable your medication. <laughs> and uh, what else is there? Oh, discus, they like high temperatures. But metronidazole is not effective in high temperatures. Anything around 28 to 30 will m make it less effective. So you'll have to repeat the treatment instead of 24 hours, every 8 hours. So I suggest to lower it to maybe 27, you know, just to make sure. A and also make sure your... Um, temperature measuring device is accurate okay because I had this glue on thermometer that always said I was like at 28 when in fact I was at like 32 the whole time and all of my plants were melting so make sure your temperature is right put it at 27 if it's for discus if it's for any other cichlids bring it to 25 they'll be fine 
because we want to make this medication as effective as possible. So you do that and at the same time I would suggest if they are feeding, feed them um, some food pellets or flakes, but I mean pellets, they absorb it better. Feed them pellets with um, garlic extract, um, garlic guard I guess it's called. So you dip it for 10 minutes in garlic guard and then you let them eat it. Um, some fish will probably not eat because they're that deeply affected already. So you just have to let them absorb the medication through their gills and they should be fine. If that hasn't worked, then you repeat the treatment again, like in a couple of days, for three days and so on. Okay? Um, it's the same thing for any other cichlids as uh, this case except for the water. Um, also, I do uh, know of a... Um, a food medi medicated food basically it's by New Life Spectrum it's called Hex Shield and you can feed them that uh, against the uh, hole in the head disease I'm not a hundred percent sure it's as reliable as medicating your tank with metronidazole but that's what it says it's a new uh, medication and it's supposed to treat them internally okay so uh, that's it. If you have any questions or suggestions or corrections, just write below the video. Thank you. See you later. Bye-bye.